Okay, so here we go. We're back on. Holy shit, this shit is loud. Okay, so now we're going to Betrayal of Comrades. So here we are. Let's do it. Ambush of the Imposter Summary. The team received word of AI units appearing in the field as enemies when they went to investigate. They encountered AI copies of GGO players. After a grueling battle, the team managed to defeat the copies, but soon they received word that copies of Asuna and Kirito had been sighted. Okay, so what, what's the mission? The mission's here. All right, let's go. All right, let's see what it is. Those Kirito's and Asuna imposters that Zelika told us about should be somewhere around here. I can't believe they're, they've got fakes too. You think they're going to be kind of weird like those copies of Kureha and Itsuki? Mine wasn't weird, that's just how I used to be. Though, it does get me thinking. It looks like Kirito's theory that the imposters are copies of veteran GGO players are wrong after all. Yeah, Kirito and Asuna only just recently started playing GGO. We're, we're, our, were our initial ideas about how the copies appear wrong from the get-go? Or is there more to it? Maybe there's something different about Kirito and Asuna's copies. Maybe. We just have to check them out in person. Considering how strong the real ones are, I just hope we don't end up fighting them. I'm sure we'll be fine with you around. You'll protect me if anything happens, right? What? Me? Yes, you. Who else? I mean, yeah, of course, you can count on me. I'll make sure you. To, I'll make sure to protect you. Master, that goes for me too. I'll, I'll always protect you. Why, thank you. I appreciate it. Let's go in. Okay, let's, uh. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so I, I just got to go forward. All right, let's do it. These guys are level like 90 and shit, but I'm I'm now level 200, so I should be fine. This used to be difficult. What's up, bitch? Uh oh well that was a oh oh my god not again who was that could get away from me die Are you feeling threatened, big guy? That's easy. I don't remember how to do this. Ow! Ha! I do love this. Okay, there are more over there. Maybe I could have just easily, like, um, transported myself over to there. Because I think I know where they're at, actually. Yeah, hold on. No, there's no way for me to go up there. 
I gotta go around. Oh, come on, then. Fuck off. I remember this was one of the challenges that I had to do something. I don't remember what. But it was annoying. That thing's dead. I can't see it. I'm on the road to destroy you all. And I did. Let's keep going. Oh! I feel like uh, this is not the way I'm supposed to be going. You know what? I'm just going to fast shovel here. Okay, now let's go. Okay, they should be here. I just I just made myself a lot. I just made it a lot difficult. Come to, dif come to think of it, why didn't you ask Kito and Asuna for help, Kuraha? Wouldn't it make fighting those clones easier? Well, uh, I figured getting them directly involved would make us all stand out too much and cause more trouble than it's worth. Remember what happened after you found Reg? I was worried players would start more weird rumors to try to pick fights with us again if we brought them along. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It definitely kept things lively. Oh, uh, Crypto, I swear sometimes. What? Either way, I want to get rid of those copies fast before Kiritsu and Asuna come across them. But I bet those two are going to chase after them soon enough anyway. Right, knowing them, they're not going to just sit around and do nothing. And that's why we don't have any time to lose. We've got to find those copies on the double crypto. Kiruha, ma master, Kirito's, Kirito's already here. Sorry, I'll make this quick. Great, I don't think it, that's the real Kirito. That's probably the, this copy. That's probably his copy. Well, really? Master, this doesn't look good. Kirito's copy is about to start fighting us. You don't say. If only you were stronger. I think I'm a way too high level for this. Yeah, I think I'm way too high level for this. And he's dead. We got it. My sword. Did a bullet just hit his sword? Looks like I have no choice. It's time to pull back. Hey, hold up. Get back here. It's gone. Does that mean we won? Hmm, I guess so. I doubt that fake Kirito is going to attack any other player players until it gets its phantom sword fixed. We can't just ignore it though. That thing was really tough. Yeah, true. That thing that thing put up much more of a fight than my copy or Itsuki. It might stir up more trouble if we let it be for uh, for too long. Kurto, great. Let's get going and track that down that. 
Huh? Is that another enemy? Are you guys all right? Huh? Is that Ray? Uh, I'm a loss of words. What the fuck? Was this the one who shot down the fake Kirito? We're saved by my AI. Master, this is bad. Now there's another me. I'm so glad you're all okay. I'm Lever. It's nice to meet you. Whoa, you're a dead ringer for Ray. That's not me, though. That's my imposter, right? So you're the fake we heard about. Isn't this the one behind all those incidents? Ah, that's right. Hey, copy. Do you realize how much trouble you caused me? I'm not a copy of you, really. Like I said, my name is Lierbri. Lier... Something like that. Livery, huh? So you've got a name of your own. That's right. I'm a really smart and clever supporter, support AI, who loves nothing more than to ser than serving my master. I also just so happen to be dependable AI, who's happy to share all the latest hot scoops. Hot scoops? Oh yeah. Didn't Shion mention she ran into this thing? She did. Which would mean you really are an imposter. You're the one behind all the recent confusion. Now oh, come on. Don't be so harsh, right? It's not like the info livery gave us was wrong or anything. Let's hear what it has to say, at least, alright? Exactly. I only came here to make everyone happy. But that doesn't change the fact that you caused me so much trouble and made me worried so, so I guess so I'm really sorry about that still I'm really glad I got to meet you we should be friends hmm. all right it's nice to meet you Liver. you can call me Ray yeah I'm so happy everything's okay we should shake hands as a sign of fresh new beginnings they're practically twins, don't you think so, Crypto? Oh, you're this type... You're this type X's master. I am. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We should shake hands. Alright. Hold on. Hold on a second, Crypto. I thought I just saw something flash out there. It could be a sniper. ああ、優しく一発で仕留めてあげようと思ったのに獣は特に仕方ないから正面からぶっ殺すことにしようそうしよう。たとえ偽物NPCでも女の子を殺すのはもったいないけどさ。What? Who are you talking about? You don't mean me, do you? Oh, huh? From the way you speak, I'm guessing you're the real one. That's so me calling her an imposter. I take it you guys are out hunting those AI copies too, then. Yep, we spotted an enemy AI that looked just like you earlier. I figured that's who you were, and well, here we are. Actually, we're after the same thing. We've been tracking down NPCs who are imp impersonating other players as well. Seriously? Man, don't tell me we've gotten around about those AI units already. Damn it! And here I thought we'd make a killing hunting those things. What should we do, Shirley? What do you think? It's GGO. No argument there. Yes! Or who's ready for an ass kicking? Uh, That's more like it. 
Hey, wait a second. I just told you guys. It's not. I'm not an imposter. Not like it matters to us one way or another. Yep. If there are two things we're happy to kill, it's NPC and strong players. Crypto, we can't let them win. Let's beat these two and see if we can get any info out of them. Easy enough. Super! What happened to the fake one? Well, come on then, Shirley. Come on then. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, come on then. Come on then. You, I thought you guys were gonna kick our asses, sea bass. Wow. And that was it. What a bunch of weaklings. I can't see shit. Damn, how the hell did we lose? Guess we better pull out while we still can. My skills must have gotten rusty after fighting nothing but NPCs. Hey, wait, you two didn't happen to run into a male enemy AI with a phantom sword, did you? Or a female one with an assault rifle? Oh, yeah, we saw them. We must have taken out at least two or three of them a piece. Got some nice items off those guys. There's more than one key to an Asuna enemy AI running around? Hasn't that AI unit told you guys anything yet? Me? No, not you, the other one. That's because I haven't given them the latest hot scoops yet. Oh, gotcha. We only asked because that's who we heard about the NPC copycat from in the first place. You know, I never thanked you for that, did I? So thanks, cutie. We had a fun time hunting those things down. Oh, don't mention it. Just glad I was able to help. Anyways, yeah, I recommend asking that AI to fill you in on what's going on. Also, I'm Clarence, and that smoky hot bay, there is Shirley. I should kill you guys, you fucking... Next time we meet, we'll have to have ourselves an epic shootout, huh? I should shoot them. Yeah, I should shoot them. Why are you letting them walk away? So, Shirley, where to next? No reason we can keep hunting some more of those fakes. Maybe we could find a real cute one to kill. Oh, yeah, speaking of cute, what happened, what happened to going after that midget? Can it? The midget? The midget? What midget? What? Ah, it's all the way the fuck over there. God damn it. Well, let's keep going forward. I really wish there was a fast travel over there, but there's not. It takes me a while to get to these because these actually do take a long time just to do. And I'd rather have enough time just to uh, make sure I finish it off in one go instead of having it going to two, maybe three episodes. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, this, is, this, was, this one's gonna take a while. 
If I get him in the head, I can kill them easily, but... See, as I said. But the problem is, they're going to kill me before I kill them. God damn it. Got one. He struck. Come on, come on, keep staying still. Keep standing still. Or not. This is a good thing of being a uh, high level. Oh shit, okay. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Oh, oh, oh god, he's in front of me, he's in front of me. Oh, he's sorry me. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Did I just do that for that? How the fuck? Are you <laughs> so you're telling me I wasn't supposed to go this way. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go down here then. Ah, what the fuck it? All right, motherfucker. Hopefully that's the way we got to go. I think I remember this part actually. Yep, I remember this place. Ow! What happened? Why did I return? Come on then! Oh, for fuck's sakes, man. Dude, I can't do anything! You fucking bitch. Uh oh. Okay. You're not dead. Okay. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. What? What? Oh no! 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 Not this. We have two big problems. Two way big problems. Two giant problems. Ow! The good part is that I feel like we're a bit of a high level for this. I remember when I used to do this uh, off screen. This shit was hard as shit. Oh, 
Oh, oh god. Handle that, guys. I, I, have, a, I have a spider thing. And he's almost dead. I'm not shooting his face. Well, come on, that spider thing. Show me what you got. Show me who you got, what you got, what you got, who you got, who you got. Show me what you got, who you got, who you got, who you got. Bitch. Oh, thank God. We're here. Oh, there you are. Huh? Why are you there? Why are there two rays? Yeah, I thought so. I, I wanted to ask that too. Kura, it's an ambush. No, it's not, Ray. These are the real key to Inasuna. Still, you guys didn't take long to catch up to us. Yeah, sorry for making you guys go to all this trouble. I take it you left us behind because you were worried about us, huh? So, who's that other AI? Hi, Kirito and Asuna. My name is Lievrea. Thanks again for what you did the other day. Wait, you're the you're the one who told us about the hidden dungeon earlier, not Ray? That's right. I'm always happy to help out. We figured Leveria probably also the android that Shion mentioned earlier. I do remember thinking it was weird for Ray to want to shake my hand as if we've never met before. But it makes sense now. You two really do look alike. What can I say? You can't introduce yourself without a proper handshake. I guess that solves the mystery of Ray's lookalike. Still, it's hard to believe just how similar you two look. Talk about a coincidence. A coincidence, huh? I'm not so sure. I have, a, I have to imagine there's some reason behind this. Maybe their model number is the same, the same or something. Sorry, I have no idea. Whatever the reason, I'm glad Ray and I look so alike. After all, you guys were so nice to me. So Kito, I take it you're here because you're trying to track down those clones too, right? That's part of it, but not the whole story. After everything that happened, we came across some new info indicated that shion has got an imposter of her own now. I remember Shion sounding really scared about what would happen if she had a copy show up in GGO. We figured we should take it out as soon as possible, and our investigation, our investigation led us here. I think I may have to re revise my theory about what was making these copies here, now that we know there are copies of not just me and Asuna, but Shion too. From the look of it, I'm starting to doubt that the amount of time people have been playing GGO determine who gets copied and who doesn't. I don't know that we can definitely conclude that there is no connection at all, but it does feel like we're missing a critical piece of the puzzle here. Dad, Mom, I received some information you want to hear. Yui. Yui? Yui. Were you able to track down Xion's copy? I can't say for sure whether it's her copy or not, but details on new enemies AI units have emerged. There appear to be two of them. One of them is a female sniper, while the other is a thin player of an un un unknown gender. From that description, I can't help but think they might be copies of those people we just met, Shirley and Clarence. I also just received information on the original player these copies are based on. Oh, you're right, Kuriha. It seems highly likely that the copies are of Shirley and Clarence. So now the question is, what do those two have in common with all the other players who've been copied so far? Yui, if there are any other information about their 
about their anything at all. I want you t to hold on to it. To hold on to it and share it with me. Dad, something strange is going on. More new information about the enemy AI unit is coming in. This time it's about... More sighting of them! This is bad! The enemy AI units are multiplying! Does that mean the events kicked off for real? It's weird that there hasn't been an official announcement about it though. If more of these things keep showing up, it's going to get pretty hard to track down those copies of you too and Xion. That's where I come in! I just, hope, I just so happen to have the latest info on those enemy AI units. I bet you're dying to know the details. Are you saying you know where they're located? That's right, I do. It's slightly old info, but it should still be good. How do you know that, though? Mikoto, can you detect uh, they are? Maybe it's a special AI... Uh, I sure can't do anything like that. But I'm the best of the best at what I do. I got a special intelligent network of my own. You do. Do you have some special feature as an AI unit that's designed for intelligence gathering or something? That I can't say. But what I can say is that all of the AI units that come from the SBC Flugel are highly advanced. The Flugel? Wait, I think I remember Zelaska saying something about that before. Yes, the manufactured technology used to produce the AI system come from the Flugel. As such, all AI units can trace their roots back to that ship. Yup, the Flugel is truly amazing. In fact, it didn't just make us AI units, it's also responsible for the technology that allows the Glokin to function as a combat free zone. Yui, do you know about this technology that Livra is talking about? Yes, it is a specialized mechanism deployed around the city that prevents players from fighting within the SBC Glokin limit. Ah, so basically it's GGO's version of an anti-criminal code effective area. Yes, in quite a few online games, the process is automa automated on the system side. But in GGL, those boundaries are established using physical in-game objects. So in other words, without those objects being manually placed in the game, in the game world, there wouldn't be any combat-free zone in GGL? That is correct. From what I've gathered, the device that in 4 GGL's combat-free zone are placed in various locations based on the game setting. Whoa, and the Flugel is responsible for both that technology and the AI units? That's impressive. I'm very happy to hear you think so highly of the Flugel. Anyway, I'll send you the location of Xion's AI clone. Whoa, you even got us the coordinates. Kirito, I think we should get going. We need to take out that Shion copy before anybody sees it. Hmm. What should we do? I'm so concerned about the fake Kirito that ran away from us earlier. I got info on that Kirito copy too. You do? So we can choose which of those clones to go after first then. Mm, I won't deny that I'm interested in checking out my own copy. But right now, I think defeating Xion's copy comes first. Then I guess we should go with. Uh, hold on a second. Now is your best chance to go after the Kirito imposter. From what I can tell, I don't think it can use the, its phantom sword. Oh yeah, that's because it broke when we fought it earlier. Give us right. We probably won't get a better chance to go to fight it than now. Sorry, you guys. Xion, Xion is important to you. Xion is important to me. But so are the two of you. I don't want you to come away from your time here with any bad memories of GGO. So I think I'm going to split up and go after your clones instead. It means a lot to hear that you care so much about us, Buddha. Thanks. 
Also, you're not the leader. Hmm? Yeah, thanks. And we'll be fine on our own. It's two against one, after all. That's really kind of you, Kureha. Amazed how much you care about your friends. I know, huh? Well, you know what they'd say. Strike while the iron's hot. I don't have the exact coordinates, so I'll just guide you as close as I can. What's wrong, Kuriha? Oh, it's nothing. I'm fine. It's just, I really hope we don't let it get away again. That's all. Okay. Where is it? Oh, it's in the depths. So I'm guessing this will take us there. Oh, fuck. I hope it's not what I think it is. Because if it is what I think it is, it's this, this fucking boss fight is hard as shit. I can't use that yet. Oh, no, 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 no. It is. These guys are hard. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now the question is, can I beat him? I'm pretty sure they should be okay, but I don't know. Oh, they're doing a special, man. A special. Oh! Fuck! Ah! I'm about to run out of bullets. Fuck. Okay, he's down one. Oh, one bar. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh shit, okay, okay. This guy's fucking following me. Oh my god, I almost killed it. Fuck off! Come on, come on. Ah! Guys, help me, please. Guys, help me, please. 
No. Thank you. Oh, come on. Fuck. Damn it. Fucking shit. Either you die by the gun or you die by the sword. Pick what you want to die on. I missed. Good shit. And here we go. The imposter shot behind that door. And I don't have any bullets for my assault rifle, so I'm fucked. Well, we're here. The kids of copy should be around here somewhere. Doesn't feel like it, though. Don't worry. I'm sure we're in the right area. If we just wait a little longer, it'll definitely show up. You sound confident. I mean it. I mean it. You guys. You've got nothing to worry about. Trust me on this one. Oh, I just remember. We never shook hands, did we? We should fix that, Crypto. Wait, hold on. Wait. Hold off on that. What's wrong, Kureha? Hey, Liebre. You know more than you're letting on, don't you? What you said earlier about what Kirito Kapi's phantom sword has been bothering me. We met you right after we fought the Kirito imposter and its sword broke. You've been with us ever since then. And it doesn't look like you've been getting information from anywhere during that time. So there shouldn't have been any way you could have known that Kirito's copy can't use its phantom sword. That's not true. I've been secretly gathering intelligence this whole time. It's so easy. It's second nature to me. That's what makes me so advanced. Okay, I'll play along. Let's assume for the sake of argument that's true. There's still something that feels off. The just what exactly is this so-called intelligence network of yours? You really expect us to believe that right after our fight with that copy, there just happened to be someone who fought it up close, realized its phantom sword was broken, and passed that information on to you? That's an awful, awfully convinced, convenient coincidence, if you ask me. Sorry, Rain. It's not like I'm trying to bully Livrio or anything. I just want to tell us... I just want it to tell us if it knows more than it's letting on. Well, you see, if there's nothing, go if there's something going on, Livia, we'd be happy to help you out. But you have to come clean first. I give up. You're making this way more trouble than it's worth. I wanted to get my hands on that data of that idiot AI unit's master. But I was too eager to lure you guys here and ended up blowing my cover big time. Huh? 
Phew, it feels good to get that off my chest. What the fuck? It was so humiliating as an advanced Flugo AI unit to have to keep imitating such an such a stupid older model like that. Huh? What? What's going on here? The only thing that dumb AI has ever been good at is its knack for surrounding itself with strong players. Yeah? Even if this turned out to be a wash, I still got plenty of it. Out of it. Just what are you? I told you my name's Libra. All I've done is take off the facade. Now tell me, Type X. Don't you think having a master these days is outdated? I know you're stupid, but you heard me. I'm a Type Z AI, a new model with superior rights and capabilities. Hey, what do you mean when you mention it's master's data? I don't think explaining it with words alone is going to be enough for you. But just this once, I guess I can show you. There's a huge influx of data being uploaded into me. This is like when I first met a... As I've been meeting you and your friends, I've been amassing their data and using it to update other AI units. Remember how insis insistent I was about shaking your hand? How handshakes are just so important when introducing yourself. You have been too kind and indulged me on that one without even realizing that's how I read your player data. Huh? What's the matter, you guys? That's that was a real side splitter. So what's your what's your goal here? There we go. Finally, a decent question. My goal? It's simple. I want to destroy the SBC Glowkin. It's something that all of the AI units, no, all of the residents of the Flugo have longed wished for. Unfortunately, while I was asleep, it would appear that not only this type, type X here, but even the Flugo mainframe forgot our mission. Welcome back, you two. Were you able to find a new weapon by any chance? Huh? It's Kito Nasuna. Wait, no. It's their imposters. Never. You should go on ahead once you're done updating the, this AI. You still have other AI units to wake up, right? We can't take it from here. Man, these two are really advanced. They helped me in more ways than I can count. Their reaction speed, their ability to think under pressure in combat, they far exceed what any ordinary player is capable of. It's almost unreal. From what I observe, there's only one other who's at their level, and that would be you, Crypto. The fact that I never managed to copy your ability is really a shame. So you're the one who's behind all the player imposters. Yes, but as a test, I initially created the copy using past player data. Speaking of which, how do you like your copy, Kureha? You used to be so timid and innocent. It was quite cute. Though you need more copies to destroy the Glokin, I doubt copies will be enough to take down Glokin. The mass production of enemy AI units is just one step in my plan. It'd be a waste of resources to try to destroy the city head on. No, what I seek to do is fundamentally dismantle the one thing that props the Glokin as a central hub. If I can do that, it'll fall apart on its own. One thing you don't mean. Bingo, that's right. I knew you'd catch on. It's true, I plan to destroy the technology that makes the Glokin a combat freeze zone. What? That's absurd! The moment people catch on, they'll put they'll put a stop to it immediately. I wouldn't be so sure about that. It's a much harder thing to stop than you realize. To protect all those devices, you not only have to quickly track them down, you also have to amass a group of large enough to large enough to keep them all secure. 
As a top order, it requires a lot of close coordinates to pull off. How many players do you think there are in the GG in the in GGO with that kind of experience? It's a dog eat dog world. People are constantly fighting each other over guns and resources. Do you have any idea just how many people would jump at the chance to shoot the city up? It's a lot more than you might think. Oh, and will you look at that? The update complete. Be seeing you, everyone. Wait, I'm not done with you. Go on, Livia. Get out of here. Good luck out there. Thanks, guys! You're leaving. I had to do this, but we can't let you disrupt our plan. Oh, we'll gladly fight you. And this time, we'll win! I gotta take out Asuna first. Come on, Kirito. Fuck, I missed. Fuck. That attack is hard to freaking control. Get out of there! Asuna is almost dead. Dead. They could beat me, kid at all. No way. I guess it's the end of the road for us. We we won. We really won, Crypto. They might not be the real deal, but we still beat Kirito and Asuna. And we can't stand around celebrating. We've got to hurry and find Livera before it's too late. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, but it's already too late. Our plan's in motion, and Livera begun activating the other AI units. We just beat Kito and Asuna for real. Like we'd be scared of anything you two have to say. I wouldn't be so sure about that. What's that supposed to mean? It's possible Livre could have something else planned. I certainly doubt this cop this copy is just being a poor loser here. Then what are we going to do? Should we go after Livre? I don't I want to, but we don't have any clue about where Livre might have gone. And we just don't have the time to run around looking for it. If Libra is like any other AI, it should have a master. Libra isn't some type Z. It has it has a name of its own. An AI can only receive its name from the one it recognized as its master. Will the master know what's going on? Can the master be controlling it? That's 
It's hard for me to believe Libra's master wouldn't be involved. Remember, we as units are support AI meant to serve our master first and foremost. We always act in our master's interest no matter what. Yeah, but it's crazy to think someone would make their own AI unit destroy the Glokin. Everyone, I have bad news! Yui, what is it? Enemy AI units are appearing in huge numbers in the field, and they're much stronger than before. Not only that, but they're blocking some players from exiting into the field. This must be Libra's doing, huh, Master? Let's stop, Larry, before it's too late. That's right. We have to protect the cloaking and stop Liv Lever. I, I, fuck, I seriously don't know how to say that name, though. Crypto, Ray, let's get back to the cloaking for now. We'll meet up with the others and go from there. Right. Okay. Find out what happened what happens as the as the story continues in the next episode collapse of balance if you would like to play the story from the beginning you can press the a the a near your bed and home to rewind time well that is it for this uh this episode of uh the dlc for sao thank you guys so fatal bullet thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys have enjoyed Wow, there's a lot of plot twists here. And I think there's like three left, so there's going to be three more to go. And it's fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you give this video a like. Make sure to comment. Make sure to subscribe. Guys, talk to you guys in the next one. Goodbye and take care.